Hello, and welcome to Simple Address Labels in Microsoft Word. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make custom return address labels as well as address labels for other addresses. So first, let's make our own. Here I am in Microsoft Word. If I go to blank document, I want to make sure I'm in the mailings tab. This is where everything is going to take place. So here we have two sections available to us right now the create and the start mail merge. If we just want to create some labels for our own, such as return labels, which have the same ad address and name throughout on the sheet, we can just hit create labels. If we want to create labels with different names and different addresses, then we would have to start a mail merge. And in this case, the start mail merge section. Make sure we're under mailings at all time. Okay, let's create our labels. The first thing you need to know when creating the labels is what type of label sheet you need. So here I am in Amazon, and in this case, I have the Avery 5160 available. I have some at home. You can see that we have the name, the vendor, and then the number, which represents the type of labels they are. Now here you can see this size fits pretty well for what I need. So that's why I went with the 5160. Back here in Microsoft Word, I can now create label and I want to go to options. Here in the options is where I can select the vendor and the product number. And in this case, I have already did that. I've selected the Avery US letter and I've also selected the 5160 address labels. That's going to match here the 5160 from Avery. We check here to make sure our specs are right. They are one inch by 2.63 inches, fitting on a sheet of paper eight and a half by 11. Everything looks good and I can select OK. Great, now we can type our name, address, and it's that simple. Once we set this up, we can go to new document or print right away, but I'd rather select new document to see how my labels are looking. My labels look good. Now I can print the sheet onto my Avery 5160 by just going to File, Print, and you see we have a nice little preview here and we can print on our printer. Okay, now what if we want to create some address labels with different names and different addresses from Territory Helper? If we have a bunch of addresses, I can select View Territory I can minimize all this and go to locations. And here I have the locations, house numbers and street names. I can select them all, copy them. I can paste them into Notepad where I can edit and customize the names, the house numbers and the street names. In my case, I like to use Sublime Text or Notepad++. Notepad++ is easy. I can easily come in and edit my addresses now the three apps I use are Word, Notepad++, and Excel. I like using Excel. I can create a blank workbook. Here I can type in my fields. So the first one will be the name. The second one will be house and street. The third one is going to be city, state, and zip. I like to have these named as the first row. It's okay. Now, if we just paste our data in, you see it comes in all weird. So that's why I like to format it in Notepad++. I'm just going to do some simple editing right here. Now, if I just get this data and copy it directly into Microsoft Excel, you can see how it comes in broken up. Cell 1, cell 2. That's because we have a tab here. Now, we just want a space. So I can go ahead and edit that and just replace all the tabs with spaces. And I can paste my data here into this house street field. Again, we can type in the city, the state, and the zip. I'll select all these, I'll drag them down because they are all the same. Now for the name, you'll have to type in the name of the person. In this case, I'll just fill it with the same name. But you would wanna fill with the custom name. Okay, this looks like a good spreadsheet. I'll save my book. I don't need Excel anymore, I can return to Word. 
Now I can focus on the Start Mail Merge section. This will allow us to create our custom labels for all the addresses we have. So the first thing we need to do is Start Mail Merge and select Labels. Again, from this screen, make sure we have the label vendor correct. In this case, the Avery US letter, Avery and our 5160. Good, everything looks good. If I hit OK, we see we get blank label fields. Now let's get our data in here. This would be step one. Now let's go on to step two, the select recipients. We can type in our list or we can use an existing list. If we use an existing list, we can go to our desktop. OK, select the data source. Here I can select my addresses. Make sure this is checked. First row of data contains the column headers. What that means is that our first row is going to be the column headers. Make sure this is checked and hit OK. Now we can go to Edit Recipient List and just make sure that our first row contains the ones that we made as well as the addresses if they are correct. I'm just going to organize this a little better. It's not important. Now make sure our mouse click is on this first field and we can insert merge field. We want our name to be on the first line. Hit enter. Then we want the house street on the second line. Hit enter again. And now we can do city, comma, state, space, zip. After we do this once, we click Update Labels. What that'll do is that'll fill everything down. Now, depending on how many we have, will also depend on how many pages we get. If we click pre Preview Results, we get a little preview. Back to the Territory Helper, we can just double check that we're getting the correct data. 3133 South Maple Way, 3157. Here we go, 33, 57. Everything looks good. Now, after that, we can go to the Finish button. The Finish and Merge. If we click Finish and Merge, we want to Edit Individual Documents. Merge to New Document. And we want to merge all of them. Here we go. We get the name and the addresses of all that we have in our data. We get a couple pages. We get four pages of data in total. If we wanted, we can print and just double check that we're getting the correct information here. You can also format these fields, such as making them bold, italicized, increasing the size, or the spacing. But make sure that it all fits within this field here, the label. And then go back to Mailings, Update Labels, and that'll update everything. And then we can go here to Finish and Merge. That is how to create labels using Microsoft Word, Excel, and Territory Helper. I hope this has proved helpful. I sincerely hope that you have good success in your ministry, and may this be an easy way to organize your mailing labels if you use them when sending your letters. Thank you very much.